jar. This is something called polymorph. Um, anybody in the maker electronics kind of side of things would probably have seen this stuff before. Uh, you can buy it in pellet form. And uh, I'll show you a little bit more here, but we're going to boil up some water. recommending not microwaving your polymorph. Okay, so the water is now boiling. I'm going to stop this. Um, wash up your hands really good because the dirt will transfer into this. Yeah, transfer into boiling water. Nobody knows what I'm talking about. So we got some really hot water there. This stuff doesn't like it. So, it's really strong too, like. You can do some really neat stuff with this. Whoa! As it goes, water everywhere. But, as you'll see here. It won't like hot water. You see it's starting to go clear. Kind of gummy now. Looks like I picked something up from the bottom there. So now we've kind of got a goo. gunk out of there. Let it sit a little bit more. Uh, the purpose of this was to see if we can get it to take up some glow powder and uh, make it glow. This is going to get a little messy and already splashed a bit. So now that's probably going to be kind of hard to get out of there. No, not too bad. But now you can you can mold it, you can form it. It's it's gooey. It's yeah. So I'm just gonna place that there. And try putting a little bit of powder into it and see what happens. Figured long hair would like this because you might be able to mold things and make plastic parts. So powder's going in. See what happens when we mix it around. This is uh, starting to look kind of promising actually. I figured it'd just powder up. So, uh, let's see what happens when we put it in the water, see if it colors the water at all. I'll load up another batch of powder. This is looking like it's gonna work. It's not really leaving green in the water a great sign and the plastic is turning green might have something new for you long hair and yeah, that might be going a little too much try not to spill it really and trap it inside just give it a good squish and then work it 
folding it over. And I think we have glow plastic that you can mold and form into anything you want. And it's getting a little bit tough to work with here. We'll put it back in the water. Try not to lose most of this stuff. I don't think it's going to take too much more. I'm going to let it sit here for a moment. And actually, I'll squeeze it back out. If you can give it more surface area, the thinner it is, the better it'll soften back up so if you just put it into a ball down in there it's gonna take a while to soften back up we can probably got enough of that in there now it's looking pretty green uh, I still got another bit that will run into it mush into it Yeah, there we go. So this might even be too much, but we'll find out real quick. Oops. Okay, now it's like flour. I'm really gonna have to. Trying not to waste it. Stuff is kind of expensive, so. Yeah, it's getting a little tough now. Back into the water for a while. sure we're still recording there. I think we might have a winner. So, polymorph and glow powder. Winner. Yeah, so then we can make a like you can make whatever you want. Uh, we're dripping a little bit of green there, so probably just the excess powder needs to be worked in, or I've gone too far. I mean, that's probably more than good enough. So, I will form this Actually, we'll flatten it out We'll flatten it out and we'll see how it glows Back to kind of the white piece of plastic that I had at the beginning. So all you need to do is form it out and let it cool. I mean these could be guitar picks. These uh, You could custom mold your own guitar picks with your own thumbprint in them and all that kind of stuff so it's custom to you. And once it's dry Let's do that actually. Well, it's getting a little a little tough. So, could uh, put it back in for just a wee bit. 
If your water's, you know, the water's still pretty hot, so. You can just see it folding in there. So let's peel off a bit and make a guitar pick. Flatten this back out into a semi semicircle. Or should I make a sphere? <laughs> Drop that back in, reform it. So when this cools, you can put it in cold water if you want, but this will cool and it'll be hard. Well, I'm not getting any of this in there. I apologize. So, basically green now. And it's still fairly soft, but uh, it, once it cools down, it will harden up. Skewers for shish kebabs. And don't use uh, any kind of home or anything you're going to use for food. Uh, this stuff tends to leave, uh, leave a residue. So, it's going to be a horrible guitar pick, but I mean, you could also just make some basic molds starting to look like an alien head or something there, or an arrowhead maybe, but... Terry needs a custom base pick, get some polymorph, and... And you just crush your thumb into it. And now it fits your thumb perfectly. I'll do it on that side so it's a little bit of the angle that I like. And boom, now I've got a really fat, thick base pick. And I mean, you could work it and do whatever you want to do. I could see an alien head or something in there, yeah. Put some, put some eyeballs. This is starting to harden up. Get a little, still a little flexible, but uh, it'll harden up within an hour or so. Or if you put it in cold water. So, that'll work. So we can charge these up and uh, see if they glow. So this is really horrible, but uh, it'll be hard to show here. So there's the guitar pick. You can kind of see it glowing there. Uh, the spot in the middle is where I had it resting on the light bulb, which is not a good idea. An incandescent bulb makes a whole lot of heat. Even some of the LED ones do too. So. Uh, be careful how you charge this stuff because as it heats up it does get soft and sticky again but uh, it does glow I'll probably have the brightness and stuff cranked here in this shot but uh, I am very pleased very cool I may have to charge these up really good but uh, this, this just doesn't do it but there making glow polymorph it, it, it's possible I like it. I may have to experiment further. Thanks for kicking around. It's tough to try. So, uh, I think you can get this all kinds of places. Maker spaces and, uh, maker spaces and electronic supply shops may carry it as well. So, yeah, polymorph. Just uses water.
pretty neat stuff. Have a good one.